The spring edition of the Motor City Comic Con returned to the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi on May 19th through the 21st. Dozens of vendors selling comic books, toys, and collectibles were joined by artists, writers, and animators. The first Comic-Con was held in 1989 at the Dearborn Civic Center and was created by Michael Goldman, owner of Motor City Comics. In 2020, the spring event was rescheduled to the fall due to the COVID pandemic. Since then, the Comic-Con is now held twice a year, and almost 35 years since its origins, the Motor City Comic-Con is bigger and better than ever. In addition to vendors and comic book creators, the con invited approximately 40 celebrities to pose for photos with fans and sign autographs. On Friday, we caught up with Richard Karn, who starred alongside Tim Allen on Home Improvement for eight seasons. He told us he landed the role after getting a traffic ticket in Los Angeles. You know, when you get something as, as large as a job like Home Improvement, I was able to walk it back to how everything kind of came to fruition, how it, how it all came about. And it was a traffic citation that I got driving home from doing the Scottish play, you know, that has all the bad luck attached to it, Shakespeare's Scottish play. I, this is like a theater, so I can't say the name of it. <laughs> Otherwise, someone could get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I thought, oh my gosh, I got a traffic ticket. This is the bad luck. But I go to traffic school, and I sit next to this woman who's an agent who, over the course of eight hours, nobody does eight-hour traffic school anymore. You do it online. Yeah. But back then, I sat next to this woman for eight hours, and we talked about the business traffic school. And, and she said, well, these guys you know are doing a show you should give them a call. And so I called them. And I had met them in Indiana, like maybe five years before that. That's how I knew them. So in a weird way, traffic school was the catalyst for me giving the boys a call. It's really kind of cool because Home Improvement is a show that people watched growing up with their families, with their grandparents, with people that, you know, they have really fond attached memories to watching Home Improvement. And that kind of gushes out at people when they come over to say hi. And I real and and I realized early on that it's it's really it's not about me anymore. It's about their growing up and experience and, and I'm just there. I'm glad I was a I was able to be there to be a part of that for them, but yeah, you know, I'm just glad they have that. On Saturday, we chatted with Tony Danza, who had back-to-back -back TV hits with Taxi and Who's the Boss? Thanks for coming in Detroit. First oh, of all, nice you having fun here at the Motor City Comic Con? It's quite, it's quite a thing. It really is, yeah. And I'm happy to be I'm really. And I just was talking to a, a Red Wing fan, and I told him that I was talking to Chris Chelios last night, yeah. and he went big, so I'm, I'm in over here. I know what to say. <laughs> That's awesome. Now. How did you get Taxi? What does it mean to you to have landed that series? Well, you know, I I, uh, I was a prize fighter, and uh, I had a fight on a Friday night. I broke my hand. I was in a cast and a big black guy. I won the fight, but I got beat up. I got beat up a little bit. And my and uh, by some miracle of miracles, that Monday I ended up in Jim Brooks, James L. Brooks's office, who was casting. Uh, was auditioning Mandy Patinkin for Judd Hirsch's part, for the part of Alex. And I went in and they sent me in and, and it was, the part was written for an Irish heavyweight named Phil Ryan. <laughs> and so they saw me, I had a cast on my hand, a bloody, a black eye. I, I looked like a fighter and I got the part somehow. <laughs> that's, that's really what happened. Is that one of the greatest ensembles in the history of television? I, I, I really do think so. I think, uh, I think, you know, there, there were pol politics involved in the fact that it didn't last any longer than five years. But, you know, the other day, I, I've been dating a girl and she likes taxi. So I said, ah, come on, I don't. she put it on. I watched 19 episodes. I couldn't stop. I just said, oh, it's so good. Let me see another one. Oh, you know, so I really think highly of the show. And, you know, it's one of the greatest groups of friends. We still see each other. We all, we get together on a Zoom every month. We, uh, whenever we, I played uh, the Carlisle last week in New York City, and uh, Chris Lloyd and his wife came, Judd and his wife came, 
and then Carol met us, and we had, we met on Sunday, and we were on Columbus Avenue at my friend Manny's place, and um, they took a picture, and it got like 10,000 views. I People went crazy over it. So yeah. yeah, it's just a great group of guys, great great group. But now, I just love them so. A much. lot of actors would kill the land taxi. You follow up taxi with who's the boss? Come on, one two punch. I was pretty fortunate, yeah, it's a pretty fortunate run, that's for sure. And you know, you're right about that. You know, Hollywood, uh, it's based on peop new people. It's based on people getting a break, but not everybody gets a break like Taxi. That's the difference. And I think, you know, I'm really grateful for that. And, and just to be, to be proud of being part of that, you know, it's something that I'm really proud of. One more question. Sure. I'm watching Friends. Phoebe talks about the Elton John song. Most romantic song ever was The Way We Were. Uh, see, I, I think the one that Elton John wrote for um, that guy on Who's the Boss. <laughs> what song is that, Phoebs? Um, Hold Me Close, Young Tony Downs. <laughs> well, you know, that's been going on now for a long time. And, and, you know, as you know, recently Elton John actually sang it with Tony Danza in the lyric. Lisa Kudrow, this is for you. One. Two, three, and... He and uh, uh, Courtney Cox and Ed Sheeran, they got together and sang it with Elton John, and he actually sang the right, you know, the, he sang the right words. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's been a long, this thing has been... Uh, it's been, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy that, you know, it, it became such a big thing. Organizers have already set the date for the fall event for November 10th through the 12th. For more information, visit MotorCityComicCon.com. In Novi, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.